Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to replace a flush valve that is a Kohler 89827 model. Now this is a Kohler one-piece toilet, as you can see by the tank being attached to the bowl. It's all one piece of porcelain. Um, this particular model is a portrait. Um, now this uh, fill valve, flush valve uh, replacement also works on other Kohler one-piece toilets. You'll just have to check your particular model. If you don't know where your model is, all you need to do is just lift up this toilet tank. And once you do lift the toilet tank, usually somewhere in the tank, the model of the uh, particular toilet is stamped. So in this case, you see it right there, K335. So like I said earlier, this is for a uh, Kohler one-piece portrait toilet. You could see that kind of outline there. So the flapper part replacement is GP89825. And this one didn't have a part number, but it comes with a kind of uh, squishy rubber uh, gasket um, connected with, uh, with these um, three prongs here onto this solid plastic. You're going to want to replace uh, your flapper valve, especially if you if it's uh, you continuously hear your toilet uh, running, filling the, the tank, filling with water, or if you continually hear or see water um, going into the bowl. Um, or if, uh, like in this case, that, that rubber gasket there that uh, has just is basically in the process of disintegrating. What prompted this is this uh, red stuff that you see here is the original flapper that had just disintegrated away and there is a, an actual pull chain that you pull up on the top of, of this uh, uh, tank to flush. Um, the, it had ripped off the, uh, the flapper so uh, it was no longer working. You were no longer able to flush it. So for things, first thing you, you want to do is uh, somewhere there's going to be a supply line by your toilet. You want to turn it off um, that way. So once you open it, it does not fill with water anymore. Um, if you have additional water down there, you can uh, clear that out. Use a sponge or a microfiber towel or some towel and then just wring it out. Um, All right, so this in the original position, what you're wanna gonna what you're gonna wanna do is rotate it counterclockwise, push down and rotate. Now, depending on how long it's been sitting there, how good of a condition it's in, it uh, it may be stuck. So it will require some force pushing down on that gasket and then rotating um, about um, almost a quarter of the way counterclockwise. And once you got it, you'll feel where it could come up. And there you go. You see how that's triangular and that fits perfectly with these guys. So you're able, uh, one of these will go, one of these points will go in either of these edges and once you, in either of those edges and once you rotate it, it'll grip underneath um, this porcelain part right here um, and it'll Keep that hold. Now you're in a position to be able to uh, replace this water fill, um, fill valve as well as this thick gasket. Now what I suggest is putting just a little bit of olive oil uh, just around because you're going to need to compress this and then rotate it to lock it into place. And with that little bit of lubrication that the olive oil uh, allows, uh, it'll make it rotating it just that much easier. Um, olive oil is not going to hurt um, this thing or degrade it, so um, that's why I suggest that. Sit it until you feel it flush. Compress. Press hard. Rotate. Now it's time for the flapper. Pretty self-explanatory, easily flexible. You see the two nubs on either side of the fill valve. So you just 
put this down in the center and hook these parts onto the the hooks on the sides these holes there you go simple as that here you want to put in the filler tube into the, the fill valve so just reverse how you put it on and this little bit here slides in there and then that little bit will go over the lip and that'll hold it nice and steady Now the original one came with this um, chain for the flapper and for the pull. This replacement already has that in place. So all you need to do is take your flapper, stick it into the hole that it was originally in, and then this will require a little bit of play. You put the, the cap on here, top on, and see if it has enough play. Test it and you're done. Turn, time to turn the water back on. Once filled, check for any Check for any leaking. Doesn't look like any water is flowing into the bowl, so I think the height does not need to be height of the chain does not need to be adjusted. So let's give it a try.